welcome back to the channel now I know why you clicked on this video because I got some tea to share with you all so as everyone knows I got surgery I documented two of my surgeries so many people in the comments always talk about how different I look and it's obvious I know I look different than two years ago one year ago and so do you guys we can all see it clearly I look different but what you guys don't know that everyone thinks they know is that I get all this filler and Botox and today I'm just I'm gonna come clean and let you guys know yes I do get filler and Botox, but not in the places that you guys think. So my cheeks are 100% mine. I have never put filler in my cheeks ever in my life. The only place that I've ever put filler is in my lips. Yes, I have filler in my lips right now. I don't do them that often, once a year, maybe twice, like if I touch up, but that is the only place that I have filler. Now people with a lot of filler can look crazy. Like if you overdo filler, like you can look crazy. <laughs> I can show you some pictures of people that overdid the filler. Also, I wanna say there's a huge difference in Botox and filler. I always had these deep, deep lines in my forehead and I was always insecure. I looked so old when I was so young and it just aged me. I just didn't like how I looked, but I got dysport and the lines went away. My forehead and my lips, and that's about it. I have been getting filler since I was 20 when I lived in Wisconsin, and I've been doing it ever since then, but everyone thinks I get all this filler like all over my face, but little do you guys know, my nose job really changed my entire face. They told me, that I'm going to look different. Like your face is going to completely change. Just because you get a nose job doesn't mean that just that area is gonna change. It's gonna change your entire face. And I really feel like it did because my nose previously was crooked to the right and also it was like up, like really high and very, very, very pointy. It was a huge insecurity of mine, my nose, like my whole entire life. Like I got made fun of like from a little girl on and then you know, once you get to high school and an adult, you know, you have strangers making fun of you and people on even before like we even really started doing YouTube I was getting comments about my nose left and right and some people believe it or not thought that I already had a nose job and it was Bosch but that was my real nose like that was the nose I was born with and I feel like as I got older it just you know it grew I even asked when I was in Dr. Gavami's office, do you think my nose is fake? Because so many people thought I had a botched nose job and he said, no, I know this is your real nose. And honestly, he said it was one of his most complicated nose jobs he's ever done, which I feel like says a lot about my nose. But I really feel like that nose job changed my whole face. And you guys have to remember, I was filming everything before the nose job, during, after, and it takes about a year and a half for a rhinoplasty to fully heal. So you guys were commenting and seeing like me change so much, but it was because I was healing, you know? Like we were filming every day still and I was in the process of healing. So you guys saw so many different sizes of my nose, swollen, crooked, bandages on, bruises. Once it like finally healed, I really feel like my cheeks like are more prominent now because my nose is like set back and smaller. So now my cheeks stand out. Whereas before my nose was standing out and my face looked thinner. I truly feel like my hair changes throughout the last couple years. And then also the surgeries, it all goes together and made me look different. Like every month or every couple months, every year I would look different, but it wasn't because I was filling my cheeks or anything. It was, I think all the different changes going on. And then my hair too, cause I, I can tell like sometimes like how my hair is styled and when it's short my face looks rounder when my hair is longer I feel like my face looks more narrow and I I don't think people take that in consideration when they see a picture of me or you know me on a YouTube video they just think what the hell did she do to her face like did she get another you know cheek implant no I think it's just like all the changes but Charles is up in the shower right now when he's done I'm gonna call him down here and I want him to react to old pictures of me I found a couple that he has never seen scene of my lips like before I even touch them I'm gonna let you guys know my lips were non-existent I have never showed anyone this picture so the fact that I'm like comfortable and confident to like show him and you guys like that shows a lot for me anyway like my personal growth like I feel like I've come a long way and honestly I'm so happy with myself and I love myself and I think that's important but yeah I'm gonna wait till he's at the shower and I'm gonna call him down here and we're gonna react to some of my old pictures and see what he says about all these changes. <laughs> He's coming. 
We match. We do. Oh, oh I like that shirt. Thank I like you. the jeans. Wow. How about look you? at you. You're looking skinny. <laughs> No, you are. Not for real? Yeah, like you look very. That's what's up. I ain't gonna lie, cause I'm trying to do my best. You ready to react to some old pictures of me and what I used to look like before all the surgery? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you look. I think you look beautiful. Thank you. I love the hair. I cannot get over the hair. Thank right you. Now. The hair looks really. You want to show them real quick, cause they only oh. can see. I was sitting. Oh man. Oh my God. It looks. Super good. Thank you. Man, I gotta know. This is just how I met Alyssa. Well, it was like white though. It wasn't this color. It was platinum. It was platinum. Mm -hmm. When I met Alyssa, she had platinum blonde hair all the way down, but it was her real hair. Yeah. And like you know, over the over the years, it's, she's trying to get it back. So I think you look beautiful though. Thank you. I think I'm gonna like tone it to make it a little bit cooler. But mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Okay. Well, what we doing, babe? What we doing? We're gonna react to some old pictures of me before the filler in the Botox. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so I'm, start. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna start light, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna start light. Um, before, I don't even know what to say. Okay, I'm just gonna let you do your thing, okay. What were you I'm doing? reacting. Okay, okay, so. I just wanna show you, cause honestly, I'm gonna be honest, Charles always asks like, why do you get like Botox? I told him that I get Dysport, not Botox. I clarified the difference between the two. Basically they're the same thing, Dysport is cheaper and lasts longer, but he always asks me like, why do you like do that to your forehead, don't you? Yeah, oh, so the thing was, I never realized a, a difference yeah. until I realized the difference. Yeah. Okay, so I'm able to tell now, like I be watching the news, out here, and I'm like, that person has their forehead's not moving, but it's like it just takes away the wrinkles. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It paralyzes your muscles, so when you make facial expressions, that doesn't move. Yeah, basically. it literally. So what it does for for all my dudes out there, hey, bro, look, when you do like this, when you do that little, you know, you do your like last can face. <laughs> No lines. It ain't no lines right there. It's just straight up clear forehead, which honestly like. <laughs> Wait, do you want to tell them your little secret? <laughs> like honestly, like listen y'all, I did that shit, like three. Two years ago. Two years ago. Mm -hmm. And I promise you it was the funniest stuff ever because I love my lines, which is weird. Like I actually like my lines because it, it gives me like, I, I don't know. Yeah. But like, I wasn't able to do my faces <laughs> when I had that in my forehead. I was like, what are you? You low key liked it. No. I ain't gonna lie, like, at first, <laughs> at first, but then after a while, I'm like, damn, okay, let me, like, give He never got it again, let's just yeah. say that. He hasn't gotten it since. I ain't got it since. Because, <laughs> like, I swear I was doing a thumbnail one time, and it was like, and my shit was like. It wasn't moving. And my forehead wasn't moving, I'm like, okay, that's cool, but I'm not taking the picture right now. I'm, like, trying to, like, get some work done. <laughs> all right, you ready to Okay, work? I'm just, this is all gonna make sense here soon. I'm gonna show you this picture, Charles, and you'll understand why. Okay, so, this is what we're working with right now. Yeah, so this is, um... Okay, I can see where you're getting the lines from. I'll tell you that. <laughs> you can even see your forehead. You can see them all over. I love you, Mama Hot. I'm sorry. I'm just joking. But no, seriously, though. Let me see. Can I do like this? Yeah, so it's not as bad. So, no. yeah, so you had lines as a kid. Mm -hmm. I feel like I was very expressive. Mm -hmm. And so I probably was like, ah, wow, like doing stuff like that as a kid. And it caused like deep wrinkles in my forehead. Oh. Yeah. So basically also like Dysport Botox is a preventative. So it's also helping me so when I get older, the lines aren't as bad because it's paralyzing my muscles now. So when I'm older, this don't the wrinkles, looks, baby. I'm not even gonna lie. Like you see them lines? Yes. He never believed me. He's never no. seen this picture of me. Yeah, I've never seen this. But it's just it's just crazy because I truly like never knew the difference. And then now that I know the difference, I'm able to like tell. It's like okay, I can see why people be doing it. And you understand now. I that feel like people before like they speak on it, you really have to understand and educate yourself before anything. Because I feel like if you don't know about it and people say, Oh, I get Dysport, I get Botox, it's like, why do you do all that to your face? And it's really it's just like very minimal. Yeah. And that I've only got it in my forehead. And I also feel like it changed the shape of my brows because before they were like U's, like ends, and now they're like more like normal. Uh, no? Uh, they're like pointy. Uh, oh, about that. <laughs> what? Uh, Look, they were oh, like they that. Were. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and I also have more pictures that shows you how like crazy my brows were before. Okay, so this picture obviously has a filter on it, but you can see how my brows like were up. Like yeah. arches. Like this is one of them. Th like you thought you was like hot, 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 hot. I think I was hot. You, you. Yeah, I thought I was a little bad. I can tell by the way you're doing your lips. Yeah, that's like 
yeah, that's when I freshly started getting my lips done. So I was feeling myself. Yeah. <laughs> you okay. think I look pretty? I think you look pretty. I was a baby there. I think I was like 19 or 20 there. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so I don't have a lot of pictures without filters because that's when filters were like a thing thing. But this picture is just like camera roll picture. No filter. Uh, freshly. You see how big my lips are? Yeah. My lips are big. And look at my eyebrows. She's freshly done <laughs> freshly done lips on this picture. Yeah. Honestly, the picture, I love it. Thank you. I can honestly say I like, I like this picture, but... I could see a, a clear difference, complete yeah. different. Yeah, and my nose, obviously, I yes. didn't get my nose. You look done like yet. a completely different person. Yeah, I know. But I like this. Thank you. I love this you. I liked all versions of myself. Yeah, which is weird because when, wait, when was this? This was before I moved, before I met you. So I want to say 2016 or 17. All right, cool. So I wasn't, I didn't know her, but like I dated her like this, and mm -hmm. I, you know, you look way different than this picture because yeah. honestly, like that's when I met you, and when I met her. I mean, you're still beautiful. Thank you. You know you're beautiful. Thank you. I love you to death. I wouldn't trade you for the world. But I'm just saying, if we're talking about... No, I know. You I know, know, when I met you, boom, shakalaka. Yeah. All right. Okay, so this is, this is the most embarrassing picture. I never showed anyone this, only myself. This picture was taken by the lady that first ever did my lips in Wisconsin. I think I was like 20 years old, 20 or 21. I, I don't really remember, but yeah, this, this, these are my natural lips. Like, okay, so. This is, these are the lips God gave me. Okay, well, these things are very small. I'm not gonna lie. And um, this is like when you're like experiment with makeup and like looks and everything like that, huh? You're trying to like figure. No, I'm talking about you, not them. I'm yeah, you're trying to you. figure yourself out. I'm talking like about myself. You're trying to figure yourself out with like makeup, how you want to look, this, that, yeah. Yeah, so, no, like this is like around, this is young Alyssa. Yep. Wow. This is, I really wow. wanted lip fillers so bad. And as you can tell in the picture, my nose, like you can really tell like my nose is really bad in this picture too. And my lips, the thing was, I wanted lip filler because I thought if I got lip filler, my nose would look smaller. But that didn't work. It didn't work. I actually no. like needed a nose job, but. No, honestly though, with the lip filler, I mean the lip filler, I can't really tell the difference, but. This, you can. But this, I'm about to say, but with this picture, like I can 100% see the difference like on the way that your lips look from now as like, years and years of doing whatever you do mm -hmm. compared to when you just started. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Now it's just like maintain. That was like, I need help. Yeah. Those were virgin <laughs> lips. <laughs> It's okay. I'm confident enough to show you guys. I I know people are gonna say their things in the comments, but it's okay. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm happy about I mean, it. People people are gonna say whatever. That's just what people do. But yeah. I know, like, I think you're beautiful, Thank inside you. and out. Thank you. And I honestly think, like, you know, do whatever makes you happy. You know what I'm saying? But Amen. don't. You know my. I have a rule, Alyssa. Don't go overboard. Now. I don't already be, said that. Yeah, like, listen. <laughs> like, I don't care what you do. But do not go overboard. As long as you're not getting lip filler every two weeks, we're good. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> when do you get it? Like once a year, maybe twice. Yeah, so it's like not like a thing where she's yeah. just like up and up. Because you know those girls on like the movies where they have like the big lips and the fat ass. It's like out all the way out to here and there's the big ass lips. And it's like... Hot it's, dog lips, I call them. Yeah, them. like those. Like those are, I think that's what people think when people say like, you got yeah. filler or stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But also while we're here on this picture, we ain't even talking about your nose. We're talking about them cheeks. Yeah. Cheeks look the same to me. That's what I think too. They look a little bit more smaller, but like I was explaining before, I feel like my nose protruded outward, so it made my face look more narrow, where now my nose is back, so my cheeks are more prominent. That's what I think, but I don't, I don't know. know. I just feel like who the hell would get anything done to the cheeks? That's right. just me. Um, okay, so now. Okay. I can show you though my cheeks of the baby, because yeah. the proof is in the pudding. Right here? Right there. All right, so I guess this is you as a baby. Look at them cheeks. And you still have the same nose, which is crazy. Duh, your nose isn't changed. And you can also see that you had no lips at all. Thank you. And just two teeth. <laughs> and just two teeth. <laughs> but no, that picture really shows like how chubby my cheeks were. And then this is the picture I'm talking about. Guys, look at her nose here. Okay. You was it bad? It's not like something yeah. that. You can tell it, it formed into what it was. Yeah. Right? But you can see that it's like <laughs> beginning. That, those are the beginning stages. Yes. The Michael Jackson nose. I'm not going to lie. Every, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, listen. Yeah, so when I first started dating Alyssa, everybody was mad at me. That's funny. Yeah, so so what happened was like I was doing my own thing on Instagram and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And like everybody was also like mad at me and like would just say mean comments about Alyssa. Oh, she got Michael Jackson nose, ah, 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 this, that, and the third. And it's like, bro, I don't care what you think, girl. I don't care what you think. I 
remember vividly. I'll never forget because I have PTSD from my nose. But when we first started dating, we were in my car and I, I think Charles was reading a comment or something. He's like, I don't understand why people say you have a Michael Jackson nose. Like, I don't see it. He's like, turn your head, turn your head, let me see. And he's like staring at me. He's like, what? I don't see it, I don't see it. And then one day he was like, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> No, I see it. I saw it. Now, <laughs> now it's not like that, but I, I saw it. Like, I saw it. Yeah. I did not realize it until I, like, I really saw it. I'm like, yeah, Alyssa yeah. knows the like Michael Jackson. But at the end of the day, you know, hey, hey, look at you. Look at him. Look at you. You're here. You did it. Thank you. You look beautiful to me. I was never insecure of like my nose this way, only side. My yeah. side profile, I, I couldn't, I, I wouldn't take pictures from the side. I wouldn't want people to look at me from the side. I'd always like look at people straight on because I didn't want them to see my side profile. Mm -hmm. Speaking of noses, okay, so here we are with the noses. Um, guys. <laughs> and that's only two weeks post op. My guys. nose wasn't even fully healed. T two weeks post op compared to Alyssa's. 20, how many years did you have Two that? years, May 20th was two years. No, how many years did you have that nose? When you got, you're 26 now, you got the mm -hmm. nose done at 24, so you had 24 years of that nose. Yep. Guys, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, this nose is better than that nose. It's kind of, well, and then it's kind of like, not like you got like a brand new nose. Yeah. Kind of like you got like a little like part cut off and then like that's what happened. Right? Yeah, and also like, he straightened it out a little bit. Um, and yeah, there was a lot of cartilage. He said I had so much cartilage that he had to take out. How about my nose? Your nose is perfect. You got a perfect nose, I'm jealous. Shout out to the doctor, because he did tell me I had, a, I had a perfect nose. He did, and I'm jealous of anyone who's born with a perfect nose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's next? This is my girl right now out of high school, huh? This is scary. 2012, 13, I don't remember what grade I was in. I mean, you look the, you look the same. I was experimenting with makeup. I'm about to say, you look crazy as hell. I loved makeup, and I would match my eyeshadow to my outfit, as you can see. But you can also tell, like, my lips non-existent. <laughs> and same with my brows, like, where are my brows? It's how you look. The thing with me, I remember, um, I ended up going to like a white school, mm -hmm. right? Every single white kid there had braces. Yeah. And I was like, I want, cause I had a gap. Yeah. And I was like, I want braces. <laughs> Cause that was cool. And like, that was like the cool thing to do. Mm -hmm. They were changing out their colors and stuff. And I'm like, mama, I want braces. She's like, boy, you ain't getting no damn braces. But I can tell you like, you have braces. Am I that typical? Yes. Girl you went to school with? <laughs> yes. Like you were the white girl that I went to school with that had the braces and the blonde hair. And, and then I'm too like, much makeup? And yes. <laughs> and I'm like, why is this? She's in eighth grade thinking she's cute. No, listen. What are we gonna get done here? We trying I, to get schoolwork done. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Honestly, looking back, it's embarrassing. But if I didn't like try out all those looks, I wouldn't like know how to do makeup and hair now. That is true, because it did help you out through. through it the, taught me a lot. Yeah, you already knew what looked good on you and what didn't. And I'm not gonna lie, this is Jersey Shore time, so that's why the hair was bigger, had the hoops, you know, the makeup. Yeah, it was Jersey Shore time. <laughs> that's why I was like that. You were a Guida, a Guida. Snooky, Snooky and Spider. You was a Guida? <laughs> yeah. A Guida, that's what they call it? I think so, a Guida. Guido and Guida? Yeah. Ah. I thought I was. Wait, shout out to all the Guidos out there in Gwinnett's. Yes. If I'm wrong, bro. Yeah, don't hate us. Don't hate me, because Snooky and them, I like the Snooky and them. Snooky? Guys, Snooky. now look at this. I met Alyssa right here, okay? Super long hair, real hair. All my hair. Yes. So this is when I met Alyssa, all right? I met baby back then, right? This is us when she lost her hair. This is us in the house. As you guys can see, we have a small bathroom. Your boy was a little bit skinnier. I'm trying to get back my skinny for my baby. You know what I'm saying? Cause I kind of look the same. All I gotta do is get back skinny, right? Yeah. I gotta lose like 15 pounds. I think you're like, I love you now, but I, I want you to be healthier, yeah. No, because I feel like if I say I want you to be skinnier, that's like me. No, I, I, want you to, I want you to feel your best. No, no. Tr truthfully, I need to have a six pack again. I, yeah. I don't know what's up with me and like getting back my six pack. I'm going he to. He did it. have. I, oh, no, we don't have that video. There was a video that we did like a long time ago. It was like the chapstick. Oh, no, I can't stop kissing you or something. Something. It was like a kissing challenge. I don't know, but he like only had like, he had like one of those white t shirts on. Mm -hmm. You were so skinny. I know, I was thinning. Like, you could go like this to his stomach and you would feel the bumps. Yeah. And now I just go like this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know what they say? You gain weight when you're in love. So yeah, well. I take it as a compliment. Yeah, well, this is me and baby back in the day. Um, I was wearing a wig because that's when I lost all my hair and I was 
so self-conscious so i always wore that wig you remember that yeah what is that shirt <laughs> what is that <laughs> what is that furry you love that shirt on me that's, i did though I that's did. why i always wore it because you loved it on me i did at one point <laughs> i did love it on me then you started to wear it too much i'm like okay like now we you okay you and puma oh yeah i wore that puma shirt we, to death. we didn't have many much clothes like we wore the same shit all the time oh my god I and those fashion over pants you always oh wore oh my god no fashion over deal just wearing just the wearing just baby. wearing them he loved them they were tight around his thigh he loved those pants i remember they were black with like a red a red thing and then yeah. he, would wear your, he would wear his puma shirt like every day yeah, day yeah. and what about the what about the one dark blue with the with the orange, orange going down the side? yeah yeah i remember that <laughs> i wear those every single day yeah at least once a week i'll for sure have more like oh more than one wait what i'm talking about like i had to rotate you know yeah yeah those are the days i know tell me about this picture okay what do you want to know about it okay this is when you i started to get like i remember i bought that michael kors purse like right when i got my job my first big check i was like i need a good bag so i bought that purse there's my watch. I got my little crystal thing on because I was all about good vibes. That's when I was like manifesting him in like my life. Oh. And it worked out. But this picture, um, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of embarrassing. I thought I was so stylish. You are stylish. You, you see know, the so fake like queen. queen that says it, it was like looks like supposed to be Gucci. Gucci. Yeah. <laughs> With the big hoops. Like I thought I was like in those jeans. Look at them jeans. Yeah, them jeans are like look destroyed. At them. Yes. Oh God, you should wear those nowadays. This is what you should be posting. Like, people need to see Alyssa. Like, the real Alyssa. Uh, well, Alyssa, post this stuff up. Okay, I will. No, Stay tuned. Not. No, you're not gonna post it. I'm, I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my stylish back on. Oh, okay. You're talking about, like, for styling? Yeah. For oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Alyssa used to dress her little ass off. At least she used to try to dress her ass off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Remember the orange pants? Oh. I go to the club with them. He was so embarrassed, but I'm like, I love these pants. Like, I, I went to the club in them in Wisconsin, but then when I moved to Arizona, I was like, like wanting to go out with him and wear the orange pants. And, and I was like, don't uh, wear those orange pants. No, <laughs> no, we're not doing that. I just thought I was so cool. I thought it was so stylish. Mm -mm. <laughs> Who the girl with the orange pants on in the club? <laughs> That's Mama Liz. Oh, you hey, want to show that video? What? This. That's proof of me getting my lips done. It's a little video. Oh, uh, when was this? Um, I think that was like my second time getting lip filler after the first time. Erin was with me. She took a video. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you always look very beautiful when you in in video. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Some people don't photograph well. I think you didn't photograph well. What do you mean? Like honestly, I think you didn't take good pictures. Back in the day? Yeah. I thought very highly, and I was so confident. No, in you, no, you're you're confident. I was. I really wanted to be somebody. My thing. <laughs> I is, thought I was. Hey, Junior. Okay, so guys, this is a good picture of Alyssa. Honestly, I think she looks very, very sexy here. I'm not gonna lie. Very sexy. Ooh, yeah, it, I mean, you look pretty much like the same, but. I, darker makeup. Yeah, darker makeup, but I think you look very sexy there. Thanks. And then, so this one right here is like my all time favorite picture of Alyssa. Like, <laughs> Why? Her, I don't know. Like, this picture. What does it, that hat say? I don't know. It says, trust me, daddy. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Cut that part out, that's green tea. No, I'm leaving that in. No! There. Leave that in the video. Trust me, daddy. But honestly, I think that's like my one of my favorite pictures of all time of you. And I love that about you. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna post a picture from 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay? okay. So all those are gonna be up. So 2018, Alyssa, beautiful. 2019, Alyssa, beautiful. 2020, Alyssa, lit. 2021, Fire, 2022, the best. Oh, also, you know what else I noticed in that picture? What? When you like this. What? You ain't got no titties. <laughs> I mean, your boobies, my bad. <laughs> oh, my bad, I love no. you. They there now. I know, I but, like the word titty. But you know what though, honestly? I like you, like, I, I'm not even like, I don't like just keep on saying like, oh, I dated her before this and this and this. Cause I sound like a broken record. Yeah, but people like, don't believe you. But I loved you and liked you the way you were. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, everybody wants to change a couple things. You know what I'm saying? Like if I could get taller, <laughs> I would definitely do a surgery to get taller. Yeah. But I, I don't got the time to let my knees heal, and I don't, I don't <laughs> want no fake knees in my knees. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't have that type of time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If that, if I could have did that fresh out of high school, I would have for Ooh. sure had been four inches taller. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I loved you the way you were. I love you now. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you do, I got your back. Just be smart. You know what I'm saying? I'm with you. Okay, so after seeing all that, overall, what do you think about all my changes? 
I think you are beautiful. I think this version of you is the best you. I truly do believe that. You know what I'm saying? I think 2018 you was like a really good time in your life, and but I thought it, I think it was a good learning lesson to never take it for granted. Mm -hmm. Because like you used to talk hella sh I got long hair. I did it. I did it. Did it, did it. And now like when your hair got fried off and you lost it, mm -hmm. you had to like humble yourself. And I think yeah. like now you're just trying to get back in your bag to where like you're super confident. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like trying to show off more. You're trying to like be out more. You want to like post more. Yeah. So I think like. 2022 you might be like the best you if you don't think so if not i think 2023 Alyssa will be like prom time like i agree like it's like prom time like super like oh, i'm gonna cry and get emotional yeah. i know that, i know that sounds so like vain I but think, yeah i don't know i'm just my my confidence level is like whew, yeah no i know i know because i feel like when you were like going through all your stuff, you like lost a lot of confidence. And mm -hmm. I have to always tell you like, baby, you know you're beautiful. Like you don't gotta yeah. act like you're not, you know what I'm saying? And then now she's back like, all right, like, I feel you like know, I got I'm, this. I'm back, like I feel yeah. like myself again. Oh God. Yeah. Oh God. So, I mean, I think that's it. I mean, that's all you needed me for? That's all I needed you for. I just wanted to make this video and address everything and clarify everything and make it clear to everyone and acknowledge my changes. But I just wanted to say, obviously I, I've changed and um, I know that, he knows that, all of you know that. And yeah, I just wanted to come on here, acknowledge it and address it and like, talk about it. Cause I think it's fun to talk about. I mean, that is kind of fun to talk about. We talk about that on our own. All the time. Yeah. Like, I have no shame. I, I, if anyone asks, I'll tell you the truth. I will say though, you, you've gained a lot of weight, which I love. Thanks. Because, I wouldn't say a lot. Well, kind of. Yeah, yeah. a lot. Because I mean, when I go met back him, in our older videos, skinny. I was uh, 98 pounds. Yes. I didn't even hit 100. Yes. And then she was stressed out when she lost her hair. She probably hit the 90 pounds. Yeah, there was days. I'm not gonna lie. I think I went through depression. There was days I didn't eat for days. Remember that? Yes. And he would be like, "You look so skinny." I just didn't. I was like so unhappy with like my hair. Like one. You got me through it. I don't know how like one you thing stayed with me. Listen, one thing literally changed up the way that she like thought about life. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> I love you. Alyssa, love you. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Wait, why did I do that? We always go like this, like. <laughs>